What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kid Vision. Welcome back to the channel. I feel like a kid on Christmas morning because I saw this come out when I was at work and my mind was on it the whole day at work. I couldn't do anything and I got home, sat down and pressed record. So here we are. The diss track is called Euphoria by Kendrick. I'm assuming he is responding to Drake. I'm going to say this right now. Go watch my other videos regarding this beef because I say so much about all the artists involved and I know I'm just going to forget it to repeat something in this video and people are going to be like in the comments oh you forgot to talk about this or you didn't know this just because I don't mention it doesn't mean I don't know it all right with that being said you guys know how I feel about Drake you know how I feel about Kendrick they are like my two favorite artists and I think Kendrick is going to destroy Drake I I, I am I am admittedly team Kendrick I have listened to more Drake in my lifetime, according to Spotify, which is pretty interesting. So I'm a big fan of both of them. When it comes to like lyricism, like I feel like Kendrick Lamar is going to cut so deep with this. Um, I do want to say I've been listening to Push Ups daily, and I think that as a track is incredible. I think that's one of the best songs Drake has put out in years, ironically. Um, so that's what I'll say about that. But before we get into it, I do just want to preface this with what I've noticed so far, just based off of the title and the artwork alone. So the artwork is the definition of euphoria. Um, nothing really stood out to me like right away why that relates to Drake, but immediately I thought of the show and I'm like, Drake executively produced, uh, Euphoria, the TV show. And in the show, you know, there's, you know, underage sex and like all that sort of stuff. It's like a crazy, I've seen the show by the way. So yeah, it's, it's out there. And the fact that they casted like people in their mid 20s to play like teenagers is like insane to me because of the stuff they're doing but um yeah so I feel like that's going to come into play like and subscribe for more I'm going to be covering everything related to the beef anyway so if you don't want to support the channel you don't have to obviously but all right let's get it this song is called euphoria and it's a whopping six and a half minutes <laughs> <laughs> I'm just seeing that now like he we're gonna be on a journey guys let's go euphoria I forgot to do this Ooh. all right we got the lyrics all right I feel like every reactor should be doing it this way right you can listen to the song and you can look at the lyrics at the same time and what they mean and already I heard this backwards so I want to know what this is everything they say about me is true is what that says backwards damn this annotation is crazy <laughs> what the hell so this original quote came from the Wizard of Oz but people are reaching and saying Michael Jackson played the scarecrow in the Wiz, which was referenced in the other beefs uh, and just the statement in itself is kind of a jab at Drake saying, you know, everything he's saying is not true. Them superpowers get neutralized. I can only watch in silence. The famous actor we once knew is looking paranoid and now spiraling. You're moving just like a degenerate. Heavy and feeling distasteful. Why calculate you? Not as calculated. I can even predict your angle. Okay. Fabricating stories on the family front. Cause you heard Mr. Morale. A pathetic master manipulator. I can smell the tales on you now. You're not a rap artist. You're a scam artist with the hopes of being accepted. Tommy Hill figures. What stood in the out. world? Never Okay, just right away, he is so calm, and it's gonna ramp up. I know it. There's just no way it doesn't. Um, it's gonna ramp up, all right? But I do wanna... <laughs> the fact that Kendrick, one of the biggest artists in the world, very well-versed in the rap game, is saying you're a scam artist with hopes of being accepted. That is crazy coming from him. And that alone is like really gonna hurt Drake, I feel like. Fabricating stories on the family front because you heard Mr. Morale. Like, you took what I said in Mr. Morale and twisted it to make to put words in my mouth and make everyone think that that was true, you know? Because he threw like Whitney's name out there, you know? He was getting kind of personal and Kendrick's kind of calling him out saying, yeah, whatever, you're making up stuff that you heard because you don't understand the full story or you didn't read into the lyrics or something like that in your collection i make music that electrify them. you make music that pacify them. i can double down Ooh. on that line but spare you this time that's random max of kindness know you're a master manipulator and a bitch you a liar too but don't tell no lie about me and i won't tell truths about you 
Oh my god, oh god, here we go. I knew that was an intro. The majority of Kendrick's discography has been devoted to activism and creating change. Facts. That's kind of what I thought he was talking about with that. Uh, pacify is also a likely double entendre referencing the image of a baby pacifier. This is a direct diss at Drake's target listening audience being immature. <laughs> like, and then look at this picture. <laughs> That's so good. Okay. Well, you know, some of the things in the annotations are stretches, but I mean, that's a good point. So, I mean, you have to take everything with a grain of salt, but you have to take everything into account as well. It's like a double-edged sword. All right. All right. Let's hear it. Let's hear him just rip into Drake. All right. But don't tell no lie about me, and I won't tell truths about you. Ooh. He has another lyric similar to that. Let me know in the comments what song that is. That's on Damn, I'm pretty sure. The horns. Come on. Yeah, I'm out the way, yeah, I'm low, okay, yeah, the island right here is remote, okay, oh, I'm thinking this up. about no reaper, nigga, I'm reaping what I sow, okay, got a Benjamin and a Jackson all in my house, like I'm Joe, okay, hey, okay, <laughs> made his own boys in them types, LA solo, okay, everybody- Okay, I don't want to get too lost, bro, but he's going fast now, and I didn't understand this Benjamin and Jackson, uh reference. Well, obviously, okay, so obviously it refers to, like, money in that sense. Interestingly, Ben is the title of an August 1972 song about a pet rat written for a film with the same name and performed by Michael Jackson. If Kendrick meant to do that double entendre, like, I'm going to assume it, he did, but that is insane. <laughs> We're getting the quintuple entendres. We're getting them. Oh my god. All right, I'll I'll rewind it a bit. Like I'm Joe K, hell cat. Made his own boys in them types of lay solo K. Everybody wanna be demon till they get chipped by your throwaway. And I might do a show a day. What's a lame? Always a lame. Oh, you thought the money, the power of fame will make you go away. Have you ever played? Have you ever? Okay, nigga, let's play. Have you ever? Watch your enemy down like with a poker face. Have you ever paid 500,000 like to an open case? Well, I have and I feel that both, but I came out straight. What is he talking rap, about? Talk about this is likely a taunt regarding previous allegations that Drake groomed teenage girls. Have you ever played? Have you ever? Okay, so he's just talking down on Drake like he's immature again, right? Through these lines, Kendrick reclaims his street credibility, debunks Drake's insinuations, and in turn questions Drake's street cred. That's crazy. Okay, so he's already denying that. Have you ever paid 500 thou like to an open case? In 2019, Drake paid 500000 to a woman who had claimed the rapper had sexually assaulted her. I did not know that. <laughs> I did not know that detail. I don't know how many people did. So this line means he failed at both, possibly meaning he missed the enemy when he walked him down and also lost the case, or perhaps wasn't able to pay the lawyer for the case to begin with, but he came out straight, meaning despite those events, everything turned out fine. That's a weird thing to mention, because like he's saying all these bad things about Drake and said, well, I did that too, and I failed at both. Which is kind of like, on surface level, like that sounds like a negative, like he's shit talking himself. But I mean, if you read more into it, I, I can see where he's coming from. But I came out straight. I hate when I rap or talk about guns, then somebody die, they turn into nuns, then I hop online, like pray for my city, <laughs> for likes and digital hugs. His daddy a killer, he wanna be junior, they must have forgot the shit that they done. Dementia must run in his family, but let it get shaky. I park his son. The very first time I shot me. I'll park his son like Parkinson's disease. That's the double. <laughs> See, I didn't even have to look that one up. That's so funny. He's already talked on all of Drake's like allegations, like his son. That is insane. This woman he paid five hundred thousand. Did Drake the homie had told me to aim it this way? I didn't point down enough. Today I show you I learned from those. Oh, another double entendre with Drake. Oh God, I'm ready to double the wage. I'd rather do that than let a Canadian nickel make pop turn in his grave. Cut the finish. You got shit twisted. 
So this is so recent, bro. I know he's been sitting on some things. Like there was some rumor that he had like a diss track from four years ago that he's still been sitting on. But this is like within the week. Like he wrote this this week because he's talking about Pac. So in 2023, Drake purchased a ring owned and worn by Tupac. Kendrick clearly isn't appreciative of this and would be willing to double the $1 million that Drake spent on it because it would be meaningful to him. Holy shit. Bro, like, face value, like, I don't, I would not have caught all that. And I mean, Drake kind of called that, bro. He knew Kendrick was going to come with, like, quintuple entendres, you know. This isn't quite, like, that far, because obviously that's an exaggeration. But he is doing, he's doing his thing, bro. I'm ready to double the wage. I'd rather do that than let a Canadian nigga make Pac turn in his grave. Cut the finish, you got shit twisted. What is it, the brakes? I hurt your feelings, you don't work with me no more. Okay. <laughs> and I see two of them kissing and hugging on stage. I love them to death. And then eight bars, I'll explain their phrase. It's not nobody can tell me. I don't want to talk on no what? celly. I don't want to talk on no celly. You know I got language barriers. It's no accent you can sell me. Your cold and Ivory know I'm a selfish nigga. The crown is heavy. I pray they my real friends. If not, I'm YNW Melly. I don't like you popping shit. Yo. I'm that is crazy. Okay, I cut it out, but I started to like question the it's three goats left line, like that whole thing. But then I saw him say in eight bars, I'll explain that line. And eight bars later, I pray they my real friends. If not, I'm YNW Melly because Melly killed one of his friends and that's why he's in jail. Um, that is insane. That is so next level, bro. Quite literally a punchline that he told us to wait for for eight bars, and then he dropped the punchline. That is insane. And between all of that, he's saying Drake's putting on a fake Canadian accent and say, I can't understand you. I got language barriers. That's so funny. This is probably going to be a long ass reaction video, but I just want to like cover everything and then I'll, I'll chop it up a lot later. Um, so I hope I don't forget to uh, leave something in or cut something out I didn't want. YNW Melly. I don't like you poppy <laughs> shit for real for him. I inherit the beef. Yeah, fuck all that pushing P. Let me see you push a T. You push a T. <laughs> you think about pushing me. He's Terrence Thorne. I'm Terrence Crawford. Yeah, I'm whooping feet. We ain't got and I didn't get this one because I am not a boxing fan. Whooping feet is LA slang for beating someone up so bad they end up out of their shoes. Should be noted, Terrence Crawford is undefeated in his boxing career, but doesn't fight too frequently, which is very similar to Kendrick. That's true. I like that now. I'm glad I looked at that one. We ain't gotta get personal. This a friendly fade. You should keep it that way. I know some shit about niggas that make gonna wanna look like a saint. This ain't been about critics, not about gimmicks, not about who the greatest is. Always been about love and hate. Now let me say I'm the biggest hater. I hate the way that you walk, the way that you talk. I hate the way that you dress. I hate the way that you sneak this. If I catch flight, it's gonna be direct. We <laughs> the bitches you oh fuck, cause they confuse themselves with real women. Then notice I said we. It's not just me. I'm what the culture feeling. How many more? More fairy tale stories about your life till we had enough. So Kendrick's claiming he's speaking for the entire culture, and it's it is everybody versus Drake because he's the one that's in the wrong. That is a good way to put it. There's so many funny jabs, bro. And I'm I thank God it's not all serious because Kendrick has a long history of throwing little bits of humor every now and then in his rap while keeping it deep and serious at the same time. And I think that's why he's one of the best rappers alive. All right. So he's claiming it is all of us versus you. Man. Real women, then notice I said we. It's not just me. I'm what the culture feeling. How many more fairy tale stories about your life till we had enough? How many more black features till you finally feel that you're black enough? I like Drake with the melodies. I don't like Drake when he act tough. You gon' make a nigga bring back puff. Let me see if Chubbs really crashed something. You're my first one, like my last. Diddy had punched Drake in the face at DJ Khaled's birthday bash, in which Drake did not retaliate because he's a pussy. No, <laughs> yeah, but I mean that's what he saying pretty much he didn't mention puff's name in the in the way i thought he was but you know it's a classic you don't have one let your core audience stomach that didn't tell them where you get your abs from v12 is a fat 
Ooh, that's a good double entendre, but also, bro, that is Cap. That might be the first thing I strongly disagree with uh, in this diss. You can't just claim nobody thinks you have a classic. I said that in my uh, reaction to J. Cole's diss. He was claiming Kendrick had a weak discography, like everybody agreed with him or something. Like, you can't bring up something in a diss that generally people disagree with because nobody will be on your side. Like, that's not how you diss. You have to... You have to make people believe what you're saying is true for everybody. And in this case, he's saying Drake doesn't have a classic. I disagree. I think if you're reading This Is Too Late is a classic, Take Care and Nothing Was The Same. All of them are classics to me. I still listen to all three of those albums weekly. If I listen to at least one song from an album like weekly for over a decade, it is instantly a classic for me. And other people my age who like hip hop will probably think the same. Stomach that didn't tell them where you get your abs from. V12 is a fast one. Bow, bow, bow. Last one. Headshot for the year. You better walk around like Daft Punk. Remember? <laughs> hey, top dog. Who the fuck they think they playing with? Extortion my middle name as soon as you jump off of that plane, bitch. I'm allergic to the lame shit. Only you like being famous. Yaddy can't give you no swag neither. I don't give a fuck about who you hanging with. I hate the way. Yeah. He shouted out Daft Punk and Lil Yachty too, dude. He's just name dropping everybody they're not all negative name drops okay what does this bar mean because i didn't understand the full i think he's just addressing what drake said about his splits and saying it's not true but the thing about the plane i don't understand so leave a comment um is that a double i, I don't know what the jump off that plane is like a uh, figure of speech for same shit only you like being famous yaddy can't give you no swag neither i don't give a fuck about who you hang with i hate the way that you walk the way that you talk i hate the way that you dress surprise <laughs> you wanted that feature request you know that we got some shit to address i even hate when you say the word nigga but that's just me i guess some shit just cringe worthy you ain't even gotta be deep I guess. holy Still shit when you see success everything with me is blessed keep making me dance waving my hand and it won't be no threat i'm knowing they call you the boy but where's the man Cause I ain't seen him yet Matter of fact, I ain't even bleed him yet Can I bleed him? Bad. When I see you stand by sexy red I believe you see two bad bitches I believe you don't like Wait, wait, what? <laughs> oh, cause, oh, cause he's calling Drake a girl Because sexy red's making him look like a bad bitch That's so funny But the delivery, like, I did not That's not the first place my mind went I was confused by that bar That's actually really funny I'm mad that that went over my head right away You see two bad bitches I believe you don't <laughs> like women It's real competition You might pop ass He just straight up called them gay you now I make sure I double back with you You assigned to a nigga that signed to a nigga That said he was signed to that nigga Try to see there it is there it is okay he's directly clapping back at the signing thing oh my god he's directly quoting push a t there too you assigned to a nigga that signed to a nigga that said he was signed to that nigga try cease and assist on a like that record oh what you ain't like that record back to back i like that record i'm gonna get back to that for the record why would i call around trying to get turtle niggas y'all thinking my life is rap that's whole shit i got a son to raise but i can see you don't know nothing about that waking them up no nothing about that and tell them to pray no nothing about that and giving them tools to walk through life like day by day no nothing about that Teach oh them my god God. Listen, man, you don't know nothing about that. Speaking the truth and consider what God's considering. You don't know nothing about that. Ain't 20 V1, it's 1 V20. If I gotta smack niggas that right with you. Yeah, bring them out too. I clean them out. That's the best bar. That is the best bar on the whole diss track. Ain't 20 V1, it's 1 V20. If I gotta smack the people that write with you. Oh my god, because he's not only is he flipping the. 20 v 1 on its head that Drake said in push-ups, but he's also claiming you can't claim it's 20 v 1 because it's like 20 v 20 since people are writing disses for you. And the thing about Adonis, I will play devil's advocate for Drake really quick. Um, I feel like this has already been said by Pusha T and stuff. And Kendrick is kind of just like, you know, recycling things he can say about Drake. Um, but, and, and like... Also in Drake's defense, like, I see him post about Adonis, like, all the time on his Instagram, and, you know, like, you don't have to be 
with your kid like 24 seven, like, like so, so many of my friends and my coworkers like drop their kid off at daycare every day. They literally are without their kid for like eight hours of the day, which is like most of the day. So it's like a normal person is not always with their son, but I see Drake with Adonis like almost every day on his like Instagram stories and stuff. Like he does seem very present in Adonis's life. So I don't know how true all of this is. One is one V20 if I gotta smack niggas that right with you. Yeah, bring them out too. I clean them out too. Tell Bean that he better stay right with you. Am I battling ghosts or AI? Nigga feeling like Joe Hill Austin. Funny he was in a phone <laughs> call AI. And my sixth sense telling me to off him. Oh, I'm break niggas all in the coffin. Yeah, over whole niggas is dick riders. Tell them run to America to imitate heritage. They can't imitate this violence. What I learned is niggas don't like the West Coast and I'm fine with it. I'll push the line with it. Pick a nigga off one at a time with it. We can be on a three hour time difference. Don't speak of my family, Crody. You can get deep in the family crody talk about me and my family crody so what is crody i'm sure a bunch of reactors ask that i don't oh it's a crip variation of the term brody i don't hear kendrick uh claiming that much so i don't know how relevant that is uh in his life drake has also adopted a bengal cat who he named crody what the hell i would have never known that so that's why he's using it because that's clever as hell. Like, even if you're not very closely gang affiliated at this age, like, <laughs> that's pretty funny for the double entendre. Family, Crody. Talk about me and my family, Crody. Someone go bleed in your family, Crody. I be at New Hawk King eating fried rice with a dip sauce and a blammy, Crody. Tell me you're cheesing, fam. We can do this right now on the camera, Crody. Hey, fuck y'all niggas, I don't trust y'all niggas. I weigh one finger and thump y'all niggas like, mm, feel go punk y'all niggas, they punk y'all niggas. Nobody never took my food. Whoever that's fucking weird, them fuck you niggas and fuck the industry too. If you take it there, I'm taking it further. Psst, that's something you don't want to do. Ooh. We don't want to hear you say nigga no more. <laughs> we don't want to hear you say nigga no more. Stop. Stop. Oh my god. Calling Drake white and saying it's cringy. I forgot to mention that earlier in the track too. He said that. Um, he thinks it's cringy that Drake uses the N-word. And that's just so funny the way he's delivering that. Oh my goodness. If you take it there, I'm taking it farther. That's something you don't want to do. So this is the same thing Drake said at the end of push-ups. So it's like the Spider-Man meme. No pun intended, because I know J. Cole said that on First Person Shooter. But it's like the Spider-Man meme. Like, they're pointing at each other. They're like, you go first. No, you go first. I think the first real round of the beef was push-ups and this one. So it's one-to-one, -one, but they're both pointing at each other. They're like, you go first. No, you go first. And they're both threatening that they have more dirt. So if there is a second round, I would expect it to get way out of hand and... I mean, I've gotten a lot of entertainment for this already. I'm pretty sure most of the world wants to see that happen. I think I'm good, bro. <laughs> I don't want the entire rap game to just get destroyed. It's not going to help anybody. I feel like they're just going to continuously go back and forth, and they're going to eventually agree to disagree and just hate each other forever. And that's probably how it's going to end. Like, I don't know how you can even resolve rap beef like this intense. You know, this has been going on for like years and years as well so i mean there's just no like there's just no like flicking off the light switch you know it's not just gonna go away like their feelings for each other are not going to just disappear they're always gonna just hate each other at this point uh, i don't know how much good um additional diss tracks will do so that's what i'll say um but this was insane i think kendrick rebuttaled like everything Drake said, um, and more, I think Drake has a lot to go off of now if he wants to respond and the whole euphoria, like calling it euphoria still doesn't make a whole lot of sense for me. Cause he didn't really touch on that at all. Um, unless it was really deep and I missed it, let me know, but yeah, please comment anything I missed. I tried my best guys, but first listens are always going to be like that. I'm going to miss things. So, you know, don't blame me. Hopefully you guys caught something you didn't see the first time since I have the lyrics up and I explained a lot. So, um, that would be cool. That's my goal. First and foremost, my job is to entertain you guys. So if I did, that's great. If I taught you something, that's even better. So, but if you stuck around this long, thank you so much. You're a real one. Definitely subscribe. I react to new music every single Friday. That's what we do on the channel. So definitely tune in and I will see you next Friday for some new music. All right, guys. Peace.